Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So how cool is this? Uh, Vogue released their winter holiday collection maybe yesterday. It's like they know I'm doing first impression Friday and they didn't wanna make anybody wait longer than they needed to, so they released it on Thursday so that we can all get our first impression fix right away. Um, so this is their winter holiday collection. So there are gonna be quite a few like gowns and you know party dresses and really cool things like that. Not necessarily something we're sewing a bunch of, but it is definitely a lot of fun to take a look at and consider for any special events that we have. All right, this very first one is a Badgley Mishka uh, special occasion dress. <clears throat> very slinky. It doesn't look to have a whole lot of seams on the front, but look how pretty this back drape situation is. That's really nice. I mean, you pretty much have to have a lot of Spanx maybe. I don't know. <laughs> look at the beautiful like little train. That's really nice. Yep, we get it. There's also some little appliques happening here too. Uh, close fitting, lined and underlined dress has front darts, maybe here. Uh, pleated back drapes and lower back, side invisible zipper, long sleeve and optional appliques at waist. So here it is. Yeah, that is really pretty. Sort of, you know, like I said, the front is pretty basic, um, but it's like, you know, you turn around and it's like, ba bam, you know? Uh, business in the front, party in the back, it's like a mullet dress. Really pretty. So they're recommending stretch knits like matte jersey and silk jersey. 35% stretch, so not super, super stretchy. I'm um, imagining there's like, is there such thing as a stretch satin or something like that? That would be really nice too. Um, you need an invisible zipper, something called non-slip tape. I don't even know what that means. Non-slip tape. Is that like stay tape? I don't know. And then op, uh, optional beaded appliques. The sizing is 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. And then... Yeah, four yards. I mean, it is a long sleeve floor length gown, so. And then they give you the hip measurements, the finished hip measurements. Nice, very pretty. I really like this neckline too along the front. It's a very beautiful dress for sure. All right, next up we've got this special occasion dress designed by the Vogue designers. They've made it up in a sequin which is fun. It's got this wrap bodice and then kind of like an asymmetrical wrap skirt. That's a fun detail. Um, very voluminous sleeve though. I'm not, is this a grown on sleeve or set in? I can't really, no, it's a, it's like a dolman, I think. Here it is in a shorter length, which is so cute. And then like a flared sleeve again with some kind of like shiny metallic something or another. I'm pretty sure this is all one pattern piece and there's a, yep, and there's a seam right here along the top of your shoulder. That's cool. For what it's worth, if you did not make this in like a shiny sparkly fabric, it could be an everyday dress. You know, it's not, I, I feel like what's making this one look super fancy is the sparkly fabric. But you could definitely make it in something not as fancy and wear it to Target, which is just my standard for <laughs> if I should make a pattern. Would I wear this to Target? So yeah, you can get a good view of the sleeve here. After making the sew along dress, I am all for those dolman sleeves. Pretty little waist seam, center back seam, which might be where the zipper is. 
I mean, this is kind of reminiscent of the sew along dress, if you think about it. Um, it's got the cross bodice. It's just the skirt is a wrap skirt. Okay, lined pullover dress. Oh, it's a pullover. Okay, even better. Just throw it on. No zipper at all. Um, in two lengths, has wrap front with pleats, long sleeve, and elasticized waist. So maybe this, this sleeve is the same as this one. It's just, you know, photographed different. Yeah, the sleeves are the same. So looking at the line drawings, I'm getting, you know, kind of like a robe situation, which is fine. Pretty. All right, so two-way stretch knits. So sequin mesh, which is I'm pretty sure what they used. Rayon spandex. So see, this is a very daytime friendly fabric. So is ITY knits. And then for your lining, trico or a lightweight jersey. I love that it's knit. I mean, how comfortable would this be as a fancy dress or as a everyday dress? And all you need is some elastic. I'm pretty sure that that is in the waist seam. Yeah, elasticized waist. So very similar to the sew along dress. It's just a cut a little bit lower. The sleeve is longer and it's got a different skirt. So if you guys made, my point is, if you guys made that dress, then you can make this dress, I think. Okay, so two and a half yards, maybe three, depending on your size for the short dress. The long dress is about four yards. And then they give us the back lengths. Very good. Oh, and the sizing is the standard six to 14 and then 14 to 22. Awesome. All right. Next up, we've got a custom fit, which I think is the, yeah, it's the bust cups. So you can choose um, cup size A, B, C, or D. <clears throat> it's got a little sleeve shoulder detail, a very slim arm here, crossover bodice, a waistband, and a pleated skirt. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. Here it is with a ribbon trim detail. Do I like that? I think I like that, but I don't like this. I like this a lot. This, I don't know about this. Kind of takes it into like costume land. You know what I mean? And there's a close-up of the gown version. There might be a lot of stuff going on on the sleeve. We're going to have to... No, it's not. It's just a very voluminous sleeve cap. It's got some darting here. It looks like a lapped zipper. Yeah. Look at her shoulder slope. Wow. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't like this sleeve, <clears throat> but I like everything else about it. I mean, you could probably convert it to sleeveless or, I don't know, alter the sleeve in some other way if you wanted to have a sleeve on there. I just think this is like a little young looking and a little like little Bo Peep vibes like if this were a what does she have an umbrella or a cane <laughs> whatever accessory she has if that were swapped out for this bag you know it would be very fairy tale children's school book okay dress has faux wrap bodice pleated skirt and sleeves and center back zipper with sleeve and length variations so there is something up with the sleeve okay Grow grain ribbon, button trim, cuff with snaps, and then separate pieces are included for the cup sizes. I mean, I wonder what this version with the ribbon trim around the waist would look like just with a long sleeve. Or even just the sleeve 
and then short without all this fussiness. I don't know. I do love the ribbon trim though. I think that's really cute all around the waist. Oops. All right. Fabrics, they are recommending stretch wovens like cotton sateen, uh, scuba knit, and ponty knit. Okay. That's interesting. This, I thought for sure, was some kind of satin. Oh, is there a pocket? I didn't even notice that. They don't, do they say in here? I didn't read that, did I? Huh. Let's go back to the line art. Yeah, there's a pocket. Okay. Anyways, um, this looks like, you know, a pretty heavyweight garment fabric. You know what I mean? Like, it's got a lot of structure to it. I don't think it's ponting it. It seems too shiny. But I don't know how you'd get a very crisp pleat in a ponty knit. Or scuba, for that matter. But like a cotton sateen, a thousand percent. Okay. Uh, one zipper, hook and eye, a couple buttons and snaps, and then your grow grain ribbon. <clears throat> and, okay, more grow grain ribbon for the sleeves. So this is the short version, and this is the long version, and then they give us the lengths. Yeah, this could, this could, um, it's, it's one of those that's going to sit on my mind for a while as to how I can pull it off to where, you know, it looks more adult. All right, now we've got a Belleville Sassoon design, Lorcan Mullaney. Lorcan, that's quite a name. Okay, so I love these necklines. This is like a little bit of a um, cowl neck kind of, but it goes into these slightly like off the shoulder, I guess they're called sleeves, straps. And then you've also got all this side pleating, which is very nice. Slim fitting skirt with a little side slit. This is lovely. Look at the back. Whoa, so cool. Oh, the slit is like something else. Very pretty. Close fitting line dress has front and back pleating. Interfaced stay. Interfaced stay with boning. What is an interfaced stay? Invisible right side zipper and left side vent. So here's your zipper and then here's your vent. That is so cool. I bet the pattern pieces for that look funky. All right, Silk Mikado, Shantung, Brocade, yeah. Lining in China Silk, Charmeuse, and then a medium weight interfacing. Uh, a zipper, two hooks and bars, elastic, some kind of ribbon. So maybe it's a waist stay? got to be a waste day. Package of bias tape and then also two and a half yards of boning. That's a lot. So it must be something uh, through here. You know, which, you know, it allows the dress to kind of stay up, not to putting too much weight on um, these straps here, I guess. That would be a lot of fun to sew. Look at all this stuff. Like, you don't even see any of that. That's interesting. All right, here are our uh, fabric requirements for your cell fabric and then your lining and then width and length. 
sizing is 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. All right. Now we have a Guy La Roche pattern, jacket and pants. Whoa, very um, outer space military. <laughs> like I'm, I went to like a dystopian place in outer space where they have a military. <laughs> that is that is what I what I envision for this. Look at the things. This is like 3D. <clears throat> Wow, okay. I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm not entirely sure what to say about this. Okay, very loose fitting, line jacket has shoulder pads, snap closure, contrast trim detail, and back vent. Loose fitting, tapered pants, Loose fitting, are we sure? Uh, have bound waistband, pocket and fly finish, <clears throat> side seam pockets, front fly closure, contrast, side seam detail. This thing is just bizarre. I mean, the pants are fine. I would not call them loose fitting by any means, but... This jacket is just wild. And I guess, oh gosh, yeah, I don't really know what to say about this. Let's get a look at the back again. Yeah, that's not really helping. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Cashmere blends. <laughs> Wool crepe, wool flannel, contrast synthetic leather. So for your little, I don't even know what to call that. Two covered snaps, one pair of shoulder pads, one zipper, one button, and one hook and bar. And then here's your fabric requirements. There's kind of a lot. You have your self fabric, your little leather, bits and the lining oh and some interfacing actually a lot of interfacing and then here's your pants with the side stripe and lining and interfacing so then we have widths and lengths wow okay i mean if any of y'all are dying to make that i would love to know how it turns out Okay, this is a Tom and Linda plaid pattern. It's got this wide neckline. I think this is a, some kind of sleeve, an asymmetrical hem. Maybe the pants are included too. Uh, loose fitting top has asymmetrical hemline and lingerie guards. Oh, like bra strap holders, I think. Semi fitted skirt. Oh, there's a skirt, see. Uh, has back princess seam, center back slit, and narrow waistband, and then semi-fitted pants have side front and side back seams with top stitch seam detail, back zippered, and tapered legs. All right. Okay. This is real cute. I don't know about, I don't know about this, but I don't particularly love slim fitting skirts either, so. But with her hair down and the high heel and yeah, super cute. Here's the top, which, you know, looks kind of unassuming on her, but look at all of these, like, I don't know how much of these plates are like sewn together, how much of it is like tacked down, you know, hard to say. There's your skirt and there's your pant. Now, if they're recommending something like a uh, ponty knit for the pant, I'm here for that. That would be really cute. Let's see. Yeah, crepe for the top, 
crepe back satin, rayon chalet, and then you can even do the pants or the skirt in a ponty knit, which I think is a really smart and comfortable <clears throat> look. Two snaps, two snaps for the top. Yeah, so see, something, something's going on to keep all that billowing and everything under control. All right, and for the skirt and pants, you need a zipper and a hook and eye, 6 to 14, and then 14 to 22 on the sizing. And then here's your fabric requirements, and then width and length finished. Cute. All right, next up, ooh, this is a Vogue designed pattern, like in-house designer. It is the just the jacket. So you've got a pretty standard blazer situation with this really fun sleeve. Or without the sleeve. Patch pockets on this one. Look at these pants. I guess these are going to be a separate pattern, which is kind of annoying, but that is a look. It's like Studio 54 business. It's like if you, you know, owned Studio 54, I don't know, were an investor in Studio 54, I don't know. Beautiful fit though with all of these seam lines. Even the sleeve looks really beautiful. And then it's got all these pleats and fun stuff. Is this a seam? I guess we'll find out when we get to the pants pattern. It's a little long for a jacket. I don't love for my jackets to hit at my actual hip. I prefer them to hit at my high hip, but that's an easy enough alteration. And then you have custom cup sizes on the blazer too. So, all right, partial line jacket has notched collar, front button closure and sleeve variations. A has a sleeve flounce, B has patch pockets, separate pattern pieces for your cup sizes. I don't know, that jacket could be really freaking cool, even just with jeans, you know? And then here's the more standard jacket. It does also have elbow darts, which I really love and appreciate. And these little shoulder darts too. Crepe, gabardine, and men's suiting. But, I mean, I don't know. I kind of also feel like you could do some brocade, you know, I don't know, something fun. All right, you need a button and bias tape. And 6 to 14, 14 to 22 on the sizes. This is the one with the funky sleeve. This is the one with the patch pocket. So a little bit of interfacing, or sorry, lining. That's your partial lining, partial lining. And then here's, oh, actually quite a lot. I bet the whole bodice is interfaced. And then the back length. That's cool. All right, now we have, this is a vintage Vogue, so we're gonna skip that one. And the reason why I skip things like kids clothes, costumes, vintage patterns, it's because I don't sew them. And so I don't know how to accurately give a good first impression because I don't really fully understand what I'm looking at. So, all right, here's a Claire Schaefer pattern. This is a shirt. And I'm pretty sure Claire Schaefer's stuff is known for tailoring. So if you wanted to learn a lot about that, that would be, this would be a great pattern to pick up. But this is a button down shirt with a pretty standard collar. It has a hidden button placket, uh, princess seams that fall into these pleats, kind of like a peplum situation. And then you've got a set in sleeve with a cuff. It's longer in the back than it is in the front. We've got a back yoke and again, princess seams that open out into these pleats. 
Yeah, she looks good. These shoes that they found, I saw these on some other model for another outfit too. They look really cool. Oh, it was the outer space military outfit. <laughs> they look really cool here too. All right, close fitting shirt has concealed front button closing, front and back princess seams, pleated lower section, and sleeve placket with button cuff. Yep. All right. Silk taffeta, charmeuse, cotton shirting, seven buttons, three half ball buttons, six to 14, 14 to 22. And then you've got your self fabric, sew in interfacing, and then they give you the back link. I mean, that could be really pretty for a uh, party too, you know, even though it's not super fancy, it's not a gown or anything, but you could definitely make it look more holiday. All right, this is pants. Wow. Okay, this is reminiscent of the pants that I made earlier this year, the coral ones. I also posted a black pair that I had cropped um, maybe last month, two months ago. So you've got high waist, fitted waist, and then they open out into all these pleats, creating a really wide leg. Yep. Oh, this one has a fly front. Okay, I don't know about that. This is also the difference between lightweight drapey fabric and more structured, less drapey cotton fabric. Yeah, it looks better when she doesn't put her hands in her pockets, which kind of makes me wonder what's the point of having those pockets. And then there's the back. It really kind of looks like a skirt. I love that they made two versions. That's helpful. Very loose fitting flared pants have raised waistline and side seam pockets. A fly front opening. This is view A, this one here and soft pleats with top stitch trim. And then B has press pleats and center back invisible zipper. So these have some kind of like top stitching something to, I guess to hold the pleats, hold the crease in the pleats. Okay. Yeah, I would admit the pocket personally, but Cotton blends, crepe, gabardine. Okay. Nine inch zipper, hook and bar, and then the oh, the white ones have invisible zipper and a hook and eye. Oh, it comes in alphanumeric sizing, small to extra large. Interesting. I wonder if they do that to make it less intimidating I don't know why they would have done that. Um, okay, here's your yardage. You need a lot of fabric, as you can imagine. Interfacing, and then I guess only the like fitted part is lined. I mean, personally, if you want to look like this, I would just make the pants that I made earlier this year. They have like boning in the waist and actual like number sizes. So you can get a better, more accurate fit right out of the gate. But I don't know. This just looks sloppy to me. This looks better, but. All right. Next we have... Koos Vandenacker. Vandenacker. I guess I'm saying that right. Uh, a Mrs. Jacket. Okay, fun. This looks like a brocade or a jacquard or something. Cute. See the little cropped link? I love a cropped jacket. It also has a little cropped sleeve. Hard to kind of tell with that fabric what else is going on. Kind of a boxy design, I guess. 
Fitted lined jacket has top stitching detail, contrast bands, contrast bindings, and snap closures. Oh, what is all this? Oh, and the whole thing is top stitched? Oh, wow, okay. I guess they're just illustrating that they used the... Uh, <laughs> that it's not actually hemmed, I guess. Princess seams, and I guess there's snaps under here. Yeah, I guess they just cut around the certain parts. What kind of fabric is this? Goupier lace, single edge scallop lace. Okay. All right, okay. So this is just some version of lace, I guess. And you can like cut around it because it's almost like almost like finished whenever you cut away the netting of lace um, and then for your lining oh no for the binding parts it would be taffeta shantong and poplin and then your lining would be chiffon or crepe de chine okay four covered snaps and then alphanumeric sizing again You need a lot of fabric. And I can't imagine those laces are very cheap. Uh, this is your binding, your lining, and then width and length. It is cute, though. It is cute, though. All right. I like those pants, too. I hope we get to see those. All right, Mrs. Top from Marcy Tilton. So we've got an asymmetrical button, something or another. Set in sleeve, something else happened here. I feel like <clears throat> this is like a pattern mix. Oh yeah, there's also all of this going on. Little ponty leggings, cute. Fun little tunic top. This feels like Ponty Knit in three different prints. Oh, look, there's this little one too. Who wants to sit on those though? I don't really understand buttons down the back. This looks like a very generous sleeve cap. They had a hard time easing that in. Close fitting through bust in two lengths have front darts, diagonal spiral seams, asymmetrical hems, neck band, vents and plackets with non-functional buttons. Okay. <clears throat> Color blocked and stitched hems for this one. Edge stitched darts and stitching detail on sleeves. Hem edges are left unfinished, so it must be a ponty. Yeah, so yeah, it's like a color blocking, pattern mixing opportunity here. <coughs> I mean, these line drawings make it look like way more difficult than I'm sure it is. Probably impossible to alter anything about the bust moderate stretch knits ponty jersey french terry sweatshirt fleece and double-sided knits double-sided <clears throat> eight buttons and then a little bit of interfacing I'm guessing for the little doodad vent. Alphanumeric sizing from extra small to 2XL. Don't need a ton of fabric for A, quite a bit more for B. Oh, because you also have the contrast. Okay, you have to add those together. And then finish length. 
This is cool, I think. So you'd end up needing three and three eighths of a yard to make that. One and an eighth for this one, and then contrast one and contrast two both need one and one eighth, right? Isn't that what that means? Or one and one eighth total? No, it has to be separate. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I'm imagining. Yeah, I think just because the shapes are so funky. I guess that would take one and one eighth. And then this is one and one eighth. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I would leave off these buttons in a heartbeat. I don't want to sit on buttons. But these are cute. It's fun. Fun little design. And of course, I'm like super into the pattern mixing right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, ooh, look at this. <coughs> this is a really pretty sparkly top. I love the fit of this. Okay, so you've got a wrap bodice with this really wide but asymmetrical waistband and then these little pleats into this kind of like tunic length skirt and then your long sleeve. Here it is in a more daytime fabric. Very pretty. This reminds me of the top I made for the Style Maker Fabrics fall style tour maybe three years ago. It was burgundy with like little flowers. Like I think I made it out of a crepe. That's pretty. I want to lengthen it into a dress. <laughs> I want to skip the pants and just lengthen it into a dress. Yeah, I do like this shorter length of this one versus this longer length. Here's the back. Center back zip. Hmm. Cute. Lined top is close fitting with pleated details, attached cummerbund, center back zip, and length variations. Pretty. Elbow darts. Right? Don't you just want this one to be a dress now? Like, just add all the inches. Cute. I want this as a dress, for sure. As a top, I don't know, not really in my lifestyle anymore to have, like, very fancy tops like this. But, I don't know, might be a fun top to have to wear with, like, jeans and high heels, maybe, for, like, date night or girls' night, girls' dinner. <clears throat> okay, crepe. Ponty knit. They are really pushing the ponty. The, the limits of Ponty, and then crepe back satin. They didn't even really mention this sequin mesh. This has got to be crepe. Joanne sells something called sanded satin. I think they still have it. I got it a couple years ago, but um, in their, like, Casa line, that would be really pretty. All right, uh, let's see, a zipper, two hook and eyes, alphanumeric sizing again. And then here's your fabric requirements for the shorter one and then the longer one, and you also need a whole bunch of lining. And then finished width and length. I like this. Okay. Ooh, I think it's a jumpsuit. Sandra Bitsina, Mrs. Jumpsuit. Yep. <clears throat> so you have these uh, like extended shoulders, scoop neck, 
possibly a waist seam, super cute cropped length, you know, wide leg, loose fitting. Go Sandra. Here it is with a like crew neck t-shirt layered underneath it. And then I love it with the boot a lot. Yeah, waist seam. Also, this is, you know, center front-ish for, for the pant. Some kind of, is that side seam pocket possibly? I hate side seam pockets in jumpsuits. But maybe this one's so loose fitting that it's fine. That looks great. This is what I would wear if I were going to a holiday party. This is what I would make. All right, pull on jumpsuit. Gotta love that has loose fitting bodice and flared pants with or without side seam pockets. Okay, thank you for giving me that as an option. Um, a is fully lined, I'm sorry, A has a lined bodice and B is fully lined. Which, I mean, okay. <clears throat> yeah, they're the same except for the lining and the pockets. That's kind of a cheater. All right, two-way stretch knits with 50% stretch. That's quite a bit, actually. Sing a double or single knit with good recovery. Okay, stretch sequin fabric for B. And then a trico lining. So good recovery, 50% stretch, yeah. Hopefully you got the stretch ruler from Stitch Buzz and you can assess that. It would be really hard to buy fabric online that's that specific. And I mean, sometimes like places like StyleMaker Fabrics will say if it has good recovery or not, um, but you might have to reach out to others to ask what the stretch percentage is, what the recovery is. Sure does look comfy though. But still real cute, you know, like, especially, like I said, with the boots and, you know, if you did, I mean, I don't hate this layering, um, maybe turtleneck, maybe button down top. This fabric's not my favorite, but you know what I mean? It's still cute, but a, like a pull on jumpsuit. Hello. And for those of you who hate jumpsuits because you have to get completely naked to go to the bathroom... Well, here you go. Here is an example of one where you can still have a shirt on and go to the bathroom. No more excuses. Everyone should have a jumpsuit now. Okay, you need a package of bias tape and steam seam. All right, so Sandra Bitsina has very different size situation. I've actually never sewn one of her patterns before, so I don't even fully know how it works. But it's supposed to mimic ready-to-wear, but she uses these letters, A through J. So here's, and I'm guessing this is bust, waist, hip, and no idea. So up to 52-inch bust, up to 54-inch hip. So... And then here's your fabric requirements. Yeah, I think this one is going to stick out in my mind too. Like, I think this is one that I would buy. I would love to make a sparkly version of it. I just, I don't know when I would wear that. I guess I'd have to create something. Join some kind of club or group where they have a party every year. Or I guess like New Year's, that would be great for New Year's. Yeah, I like this one. Okay, look at this fun little number. This is a in-house design dress with this really like retro collar. Something happening here. Set in sleeve with a little like flounce. Loose fitting. Yeah, it looks like a center front seam that opens up into a pleat, maybe? That is cute. I love the length. 
Like the proportions are great. Look at that cute little boot too. Styling is on point with this collection for sure. Look at these, perfect. This is making me a little bit leery. I don't know what all this is about. She doesn't really have it. There's the back. They pattern match this so well. Look, you can't even see where that center front seam is. Good for them. Yeah, I think this is just a little bit tight around her bicep. So keep that in mind. Measure that whenever you're going to make this. I love this. Loose fitting dress has rolled collar, center front pleat, and side seam pockets. And then B has a sleeve with a cuff. Center, yeah, so it opens up into a pleat. This is cute. I love this. I don't know about putting the pockets in there, though, because they would just be like floppy pockets. You know, they'd just be flopping around. There's nothing to tack them to. I mean, maybe you could bring them to this center front seam, but that's like a lot of pocket. I love it. I love the proportions a lot. Medium weight wools, crepe, and chalet. I'm guessing this is, I don't know what this is. You could even use a ponty knit on this. I'm surprised that as much as I love ponty right now, they didn't recommend that. This might be one of those wools. Fun. I actually like it in the more structured fabric. Do they have a picture of her without her arm, her hands? In the, yeah. Yeah, see how the structured, well, I don't know, they both kind of fall really nicely. All right, you don't need any notions, none. Don't see that very often. Alphanumeric sizing again, which for this I get because it's so loose fitting pretty much everywhere. Um, the one with the long sleeve has a little bit more fabric. There is half a yard of lining fabric. I wonder where that is. Oh, the pockets. And then your finished length. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, here is another in-house designed dress. We have some kind of collar situation set in sleeve. This is very reminiscent of the one we just looked at. Um, this one has a more full sleeve with a cuff. This looks like that fabric that Stylemaker had where I said it looked like money. <laughs> oh, here's, okay, one with the ruffle. Mm, no. I like those shoes again, though. Yeah, and I'm not feeling this. That's cute. I think if you have this much coverage going on, you need to be showing some leg. There's some buttons going on here. Maybe this is like a mock turtleneck. Yeah, I'm not feeling that really long one. But I can see how you just have to be really careful. If you're not super tall like this model is, you know, it could look a little frumpy. Loose fitting dress has front and back yoke. It does it. Okay. Collar and length variation, loop and button closure, lined front and back and gathered sleeve with button cuff. A has a collar and tie end in one above mid knee length and B has a stand up collar and ruffle. 
Yeah, okay. Wow. So I'm getting, other than the necktie, kind of like a nightgown situation. The buttons up the shoulder, that's interesting. Yeah, I think if you're going to go for a wide-fitting, like, trapeze-style baby doll-ish dress, I like the other one better. But this isn't awful. The whole thing is lined, though. That's wild. So, yeah, chiffon, georgette, chalet, crepe de chine. Yeah, really lightweight fabrics. The lining is, gonna, is what is going to give it this, like, heft. Uh, so single fold bias tape, shank buttons, and then more shank buttons. Back to the numeric sizing, 6 to 14, 14 to 22. Yeah, almost two yards of lining. So maybe everything but the sleeves. And then width and length. I don't know. I, I do like this one. I do. Especially if you made the other one in like more structured fabric. This is a good one for like lightweight. I think it'd also be equally cute for spring too. If you made it out of like a bright floral, you know. All right. Now we've got... Just a couple more. Okay, so deep V with a shawl collar. Oh, what is happening here? Something with the sleeve, center front seam, sash. Okay. Same thing, but a slimmer skirt. These are just dolman sleeves, I think. Ooh, that's it, belted, long skirt. You guys, they made four, maybe more. They made a lot of versions of this, okay. Here it is with like a circle skirt. That is a deep, Deep V, though. Here's a yet another version. They made five versions of this dress. Amen, hallelujah. I want to buy this pattern just to support that as a decision. It's so nice to see it as clothes and not as an illustration. I, I think this might be a linen. I'm not 100% feeling that as an option. Just because the sleeve starts to look a little funny. This is lighter weight. You can tell, I don't know, to me it just looks a little bit more clean. Although this Missoni inspired fabric is nuts. Okay. You know, I'm thinking about my sew along dress again because it had the dolman sleeves. And every single time I sit down or slouch, that wrap bodice, which crosses over pretty high, uh, gapes open and kind of like falls open a little bit. So I'm imagining when you're wearing this uh, and you sit down, you have to have impeccable posture to keep this from peeking in or obviously you could use like some kind of fashion tape or something like that to keep it close to your body but you know that's a lot of that's a lot of horsepower for what seems they seem to be pushing like a daytime vibe all of these seem like wear this to work wear this you know maybe for a date but like some of these are pretty casual but I'm loving looking at five completely different versions on models in like actual samples. It's awesome. 
Loose fitting dress has lapel collar and side seam pockets and skirt and length variations. But you can see you have a self fabric belt. I think this one's just a little bit longer. Slim short skirt, slim long skirt. Oh, it's not Dolman, it's Raglan. Wait, Raglan in the front, but not in the back? Interesting. Huh. Let's look at that again. Um, give me the front. Yeah, there's definitely a seam there. Interesting. So I'm guessing you sew the front of your sleeve to your bodice and then sew the entire thing to a single back piece. Huh. Very interesting. Okay. Crepe, cotton blends, jersey knits. Yeah, this is, you could really make this out of anything. This is a lightweight woven, midweight woven, a lightweight knit. 6 to 14, 14 to 22, no notions again. Here's your fabric requirements. These are for the fuller skirts. You need a lot of fabric. And then these are for the slimmer skirts. And then partial lining. For C and D, hmm, wonder where that goes. And then interfacing for all of them. And then width and length. All right. Next up, we have a Catherine Bryn Jacket, top and pants. Look how cute this little jacket is. I'm surprised. I guess they put all their jackets in the fall collection. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. Little shawl collar, self belt, patch pockets. Here's our little basic knit top. Oh, that's fun. They don't show the pants. They don't show the waistband of the pants. I hate that. Okay. Uh, jacket A is close fitting, unlined with shawl collar, belt caught in back stitched pleats and top stitching details. The top is close fitting with a neckband and top stitching detail. And C, the pants has pull on self lined yoke with hidden waist elastic and top stitched hems. The back of that jacket's super cool. Basic top. And then, what did they say about this? Pull on pants. Have self-lined yoke. Okay. And hidden waist elastic and top stitch gems. All right. That's the fabrics. So moderate stretch knits, A, which is the jacket? Yeah. Uh, a sweatshirt fleece, boiled wool, which isn't stretchy. And I doubt sweatshirt fleece has 35% stretch. They should have put this over here. And then pants and top. Velour, ponty knit, and jersey. So I think the pants are probably ponty. And then the tops are these. I wouldn't make those pants out of jersey. Again, very misleading how they wrote that. All right. Your top can also be 50% stretch. You know, it doesn't have to be that tight. Uh, half a yard of clear elastic for the top. Okay. And then... Only three quarter inch elastic in the um, pants waistband, which I guess is surprising. 
alphanumeric sizing. And then here's your coat, your top, and your pants. And then length and width. Cute. All right, now the last one are, is another Sandra Bitsina. These are pants and belt. So paper bag waist, belt carriers, some kind of pocket, cropped length, pleats maybe. Cute. Sandra's really coming through this time. I love these. I think this is a slash pocket. Somehow built into that pleat maybe? And no. <laughs> what happened to all the pleats? No. Mm -mm. And she has pancake butt. That one looks better. I don't know why. Maybe she just has a naturally smaller bum. Well, that's a bummer. Very loose fitting pants have front pleats, back darts, carriers, pockets, and tie belt. Front fly closure. I mean, yeah, the pocket is a slash. I love the front. Uh, and does anyone know how hard it would be to add pleats? Like to take out these darts and just add a pleat all the way down? Not a pleat all the way down. That's not what I'm saying. Add a pleat up here that opens into, you know, a wide leg. Like, just like this. Does anybody know? It can't be that hard, right? I love the side zip. Yeah, it just needs to have an equally full back to me, in my opinion. I, I don't love... Uh, Yeah, I don't love that. Can't be that hard. Because those are real cute. Okay. Wool, crepe, or rayon crepe, three or four ply silk, stretch bovens, or wool flannel. Okay. Uh, one nine inch zipper, hook and bar, a flat button, and then for B, invisible zipper and wonder tape. What is the difference? Does one, oh, one has a fly front and one does not. Okay. There's her sizing thingamajig again. And then here is your fabric requirements. Interfacing. And then finished length is all that they're giving us. Okay. Cute. All right, well, that is it, because our last pattern is a men's shirt, which, again, I don't know anything about. So here's the lookbook. Let's go through this. Sometimes they have some patterns hidden in here. Uh, but while we're looking at this, what do you guys think? The holiday collection always runs the gamut of, like, Everything from, you know, every day, hanging out at the park, all the way up to, like, galas and, you know, very fashion, very um, fancy black tie events, which is fun. Let me know in the comments section below. 
which ones you guys love. I truly do love this. Love the pants with an alteration to the back. Loved this one, like a lot. Yep, not so bad on the left, possibility. Even this one, this one without the sleeves, memory lane. Oh yeah, the top, love that, but as a dress. Sorry about the sirens. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what you guys thought of this collection in the comment section below. I feel like the start of this year was a slow, it was tough. It was tough to get through the, the spring uh, collections, but I really like this one. There's a lot of really good stuff here. So hope that you guys agree. Let me know in the comments and happy First Impression Friday. I will see you all very soon. Bye.